Hi, this is the, the second lesson of uh, the series of uh, Learn and Improve. And we are going to, to learn in this lesson how to mate and uh, uh, to end the game and how the stalemate is done. So let's set up the position. And now it's White's turn to move and checkmate the Black King. Uh, of course, you have to prevent any move for the Black King. So we have to control all the squares our, around the King and put him in check to checkmate him. So now the, king, the Rook attacks the King and the King cannot move because in all squares he is attacked so it, this is a checkmate the king cannot run or hide so this is the checkmate checkmate can be done with any with any piece on the board with a pawn with a rook with a knight with a bush with a bishop uh, no matter what so this is the checkmate. This is a kind of checkmate. Let, let's set up another position. And this is another another position. As we see, the white rook cutting this rank for the king, so the king cannot pass. Cannot go here, here, or here. So he can just go to this square or this square. And now the other rope comes and attacking on the last rank. So he cannot go here, or here, or here, or here. This is another kind of checkmate. The king cannot uh, hide or cannot run away. Let's see another type of checkmate. This is very simple checkmate uh, to learn. Okay, this is another position, and uh, it's for white to play and uh, give a checkmate. So, as we see, the pawns prevent the black king from escaping, and the, the queen can attack along this rank, and the king is checkmated because he cannot run or hide. This is the checkmate. So let's see uh, one example or two examples uh, of stalemate, how the king can be stalemated. Stalemate, it means he cannot move, but he is not in a check. In this position, the king is in checkmate, in check by the, by the queen, and he cannot move. So let's see if he is uh, cannot move and he is not in checkmate. So this is a stalemate. In this position, the black king is uh, in the corner and he cannot move and it, uh, now it's white to move 
White can play any any move to to checkmate the, the king in a simple way, but if uh, White moves his rook to this square, or this, or this, or here, or here, it will be a stalemate because. The rook controls this square and the king controls this square and the, also the rook controls this square. So the black king cannot move and if it's his turn, like if I move the rook here, now it's black's turn to, to move but he cannot move and he is not in check. So this is the stalemate, cannot move, the, the black king cannot move and he is not in check. So this is stalemate. If there is a black uh, piece or pawn can move here, so it's not checkmate. Uh, it's not a stalemate in this case. If uh, if there is another uh, black uh, piece can move, but in this case uh, we have only the black king, so he cannot move. So this is a stalemate. Stalemating means that the black king cannot move, and uh, he is not in check. And he is, uh, it's, his, it's his turn to move, but he cannot move, like he cannot go here to g8 or h7 because these squares are controlled by the rook and also by the king. So this is mating and stalemating. So let's now try to to learn how to open the game and how to develop our pieces. Of course, we have to know that uh, e4 and d4 and e5 and d5, this is what we call the center of the board. And these squares are very important in our game. If we can control these squares, and put some pieces there like bishops or knights or pawns or rooks or queens it means we can control the biggest number of squares around 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 us so we can uh, uh, have a big advantage in uh, controlling and uh, in space maybe uh, so our uh, goal in the opening is to try to control these squares. This is the center and also uh, we can uh, call the yellow squares as the big center. So if we cannot control the green or the center like uh, d4 and d4, d5 and d5, we must try to control the other squares in yellow. So this is the uh, big center and also it gives us uh, a good good control and good uh, advantage and good initiative and maybe uh, good space advantage as we can see later in other lessons. So now it means uh, we can uh, develop our pieces toward these squares and to control these squares as we can. Uh, any other moves uh, like uh, a3 or a4 or h3 or h4 as many kids try to, to play, uh, it's not useful, uh, especially in the very first op opening moves. It's not uh, useful for us. Uh, like uh, our our moves must be in, in the first moves, like in the first five or six or ten moves, is to uh, try to develop the, the knights, the bishops, to try to castle to king side or queen side, and then we can try other moves, like to have an attack on the king side or the queen side, as the position may allow us. So, uh, like, uh, one example to develop our pieces is, like, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d2, 
should be five. Knight f6. Knight c3. Uh, bishop eleven. Yes. As you notice, in our first five moves, we developed two knights, one bishop, and we castle. And this is uh, very good for us to uh, try to uh, have an attack or to have an initiative, slight initiative, or to try to build an attack against our opponent from the white side and from the black side. Uh, this is not the only way. Like we can we can try to to have another opening. Like d4, d5, uh, might have to be Also, in our first five moves, we can notice that we can we put our pawn in the center. Also, black put his pawn in the center. We develop our knight. Also, black our bishop. Also, black and we, uh, we castle. Also, the black king are cast is castled now. So. Uh, we must focus on development in the first stage in the opening. We must develop our pieces and then we can try to attack. You may notice later that there is some uh, opening that uh, don't uh, play as uh, we have learned now. Maybe they give some uh, pieces or some pawns to try to have some advantage in development or initiative in development. So this is not the case now. We have we must now learn how to develop uh, stand as a standard way, and later we can uh, learn how to develop in special ways and in special openings and uh, some tricks and some. Uh, some uh, plans in the opening. Now we just we are trying to to learn how to develop calmly. Like also we can try this way: c4, c5, knight f3, knight f6, g2, g2, g3, g6, bishop. is very important very very important is to castle very soon in the opening because this will allow, allow us to put our king in a safe place and we can try to attack later don't start your attack before castling this is very dangerous you may lose your attack and your king still in the center so you will be in very very dangerous situation so this is uh, our lesson uh, for this time uh, we learned how to checkmate and what is the stalemate this will end the, the game as checkmating and stalemate and how to start our game uh, in a simple way how to develop, to, do, to develop our pieces we develop knights first then bishops, then we castle. We this is a very important rule to castle soon in the uh, opening because if we postpone our uh, our development or our uh, castling, this will put us in very dangerous situation. So uh, this is our lesson for today, and thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestion, any questions, any comments, please put it uh, in the comments section.